So I know it feels a little uncomfortable, but I mean, everybody just squeeze on in yeah. here, okay? Just get as close as you can. You can actually get a little bit closer because yeah. I know you're recording yeah. it, so stand yeah. right there, okay? okay? Again, guys, these are stainless steel, so just throw them in the dishwasher if they're dirty. A lot of chefs and caterers already use these, but then use them for like kiwis and strawberries and mushrooms. Now, I also Googled it. You guys can do other things, okay? I actually can make, which this thing little thing popped off, a cucumber shark. Oh, <laughs> you guys can have a lot of fun with that, okay? You can also do a palm tree carrot. So again, you guys can have a lot of fun with yours. It doesn't matter what you do with yours, they're free. These are our brand new Pro Series Perry Knives. What makes these uniquely special is the material we make the knife out of. If you haven't seen it already, it cuts through a stainless steel hammer and then it cuts a tomato like it's nothing. It's pretty impressive. This is why it has the lifetime forever warranty. Anything ever happens to it, we replace it for free for the rest of your life, as many times as we need to replace it. There is no charge, although normally we have to charge for these Today, these are free for everyone here. Is free okay with you guys? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, if it's yeah. free, it's for me, right? Yeah. All right, so how many people here are gonna say thank you, Karina, when they get their free gift? Thank you. See, now I know who not to give them to. Yeah. 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 No, it's easy. Actually, Walmart brought in a brand new item today. They asked me to take a second, show you guys how it works. Then I'm allowed to hand out the free paring knife to everyone here. Sound good? Ooh. Yeah, great. So their featured item is called the Pro Smart Slicer. And I'm sure you guys have seen a mandolin before. What's great about mandolins, take an apple, put on the safety handle. Then you're just gonna run it right through the machine and you're gonna make nice, thin, even slices all the way down to the edge. Now this Don't is worry perfect. About it. Apple crisp and apple pies because they're all the same thickness. So you can actually cook them at the same time and temperature. They're also great for good healthy snacks for our kids, especially going back to school. Saves you some money and there's no preservatives there. You like apples, right sir? Green apples. How do you like them apples? <laughs> <laughs> now we all know mandolins have inserts. You remove it, find a new one, put it in. This way you can do more than slice your apples. But guys, we just save you a whole lot of effort here. Can everybody see this knob right here? Just nod your head if you see it. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Now you push in to unlock it. Okay, you guys ready? And then you turn it. That's the fine julienne. You push and turn the thick slice. One more time is the thick julienne. So you have four inserts, okay? They're just built inside this machine so they don't actually have to dig in a drawer for them, okay? Now this one makes french fries, and I love french fries. Uh, anybody else like french fries? <laughs> yeah, like who doesn't, right? <laughs> so if you're gonna make french fries, or of course carrot sticks, cheese sticks, you're gonna put the safety handle at an angle. You guys can see that? This way you guys can run it right through the machine. So you're gonna make nice, thick, restaurant style french fries, and you'll get all the way down to the skins so you don't waste anything, okay, so you're good. Now, you guys all have your fresh French fries. Right. It's okay, you guys can be excited. <laughs> <laughs> but they're cut fresh, so they absorb less grease and oil, they taste a lot better for you, a lot healthier. Of course, I use coconut oil and Laura's seasoning salt, it's amazing. So does anybody else still cook here at home? Any of us? Mm -hmm. Oh, all of us, okay. <laughs> if you're cooking at home, I know you're chopping celery. Uh, the thing is, is it's always the strings, the prep work. Right? So, a little chef's tip. Leave the core on. Put a rubber band around it. Then this way it holds it together and you can run it through for soup, stew, stir fry, or chop suey. Again, it only takes you a few seconds and you have a cup of celery. Yeah. And then any recipes you guys have oh, yeah. waiting, your work is done for you. Now we already know this is a little bit big for stuffing since Thanksgiving's right around the corner. Push and turn two times your fine julienne setting. Now, of course, anything that is large eventually becomes small. So do keep in mind, if it is the size of your hand or larger, put a rubber band around it and keep your fingers above the rubber band. If it was smaller than your hand, let's say like an onion, if it's smaller than your hand, you have to use the safety handle. Now, I know it kind of looks like a cowboy hat, right? Mm -hmm. um, of course, your hand is supposed to fall inside that brim to protect you for safety. So it's not because we're in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now, real quickly, do you guys see that arrow right there? Yeah. Just nod your head if you guys see it so I don't miss anybody. This is really important. Okay, this is for safety reasons. Do you guys see that back there too? Okay, good. All right, so everybody sees that? So when it's in front of you, you're gonna follow those arrows and it's gonna hover above the blade and anything happens, you guys are safe. So you're good to go. Of course, if you turn it the other way, it cuts the handle and it 
doesn't protect you. So just follow those arrows and it's perfect every time, okay? So since this is larger than my hand, we're gonna keep that rubber band on, run it through for potato salad, chicken salad, stuffing, of course your tuna salad, right? And now you do not have to peel it because all the strings are gone. So you just run it through the machine and then throw in your recipes and all the work's done for you. Now, of course, if it was small, uh, you puncture the items, that little button goes up, you press the button, you save it for later. You guys can actually see that plunger moving. That pushes all the food tight to the blade. So you guys have a perfect slice every single time. And the skewers are dull, so they're not gonna harm you. Okay, they'll just puncture everything. Now, what's something you guys all hate chopping more than anything else in the world? Onions, yeah, you've all shed tears over onions. <laughs> yeah, I've shed more tears over onions and lost boyfriends, so I understand. <laughs> Thanks for your sympathy, guys. <laughs> all right, so on the onions, you can run them through on the thick slice, and then you can pop them out for your thick, restaurant style onion rings. Now, if you want to make them thin, you can throw them in a frying pan and now you have your sauteed onions. Now, I make a lot of spaghetti sauces. Chili, meatloaf, salsa, <laughs> let's be honest. How many recipes call for chopped onions these days? Mm -hmm. Like yep. all of them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every recipe you guys have at home is now going to have a chopped onion and you don't have any time to cry about it. Mm -hmm best part right there right <laughs> now of course guys do pay attention these teeth are sharp so if something's stuck push in on the knob and then turn it will pull the blades out of the item so of course if this was chicken cheese bread fruits and vegetables slide it off and you can save it for later or in this case throw it away this is a kitchenware polymer so it's very slippery plastic you rinse it underneath the faucet and everything falls right off or you can throw it in the top shelf of your dishwasher. Very easy to clean. If there was something stuck in the teeth, you just cycle through and just use a little brush. That's all you have to do, okay? So it's very easy to clean. The blades are made out of the same material as the parry knife, so they don't rust, bend, break, or go dull anytime soon. Now, this is really handy, this little ridge that you guys see. This is for bowls and frying pans. When you're using it, all the food falls down. So it's not like a salad shooter, it doesn't shoot out the other end, okay? Now, of course, I know there's a lot of other things we don't like chopping, but uh, I really hate chopping tomatoes <laughs> because I get the only dull knife in the entire kitchen. I make tomato soup everywhere. So I actually get the bad produce they throw away here. So it doesn't matter if there's lots of bruises, it's totally okay. If you're gonna use this for party trays, hamburgers, BLTs, of course your fried tomatoes, it's gonna be absolutely perfect for you, okay? Obviously this one's a little bit smushy, but that's okay guys. Again, you're gonna notice all the seeds and juice stay inside these tomatoes, so you don't have to waste any time here. They're all perfect, line them up, you can pretend that a caterer came over and pressed a few neighbors, right? <laughs> uh, I still get ugly, weird end pieces in my salads at restaurants, and you're gonna get them at home too. So at home, just do what they do. Tuck them in and hide them. No one knows the difference, okay? Now, of course, real quickly, anybody still like to eat scalloped potatoes? Potatoes are rotten. Yeah, we buy them in a box, right? And it's like $3 for like two mouthfuls. So you guys can do this at home, 20 to 30 seconds for pan fries, cottage fries, or potatoes are broth. Everything is all consistent in size. I do this with eggplant and bananas. Bananas you just leave the peel on until you're done slicing them. You just don't have to buy this in a box anymore. It's gonna be healthier for you, taste better, save you a ton of money. Now the last thing that they let me show you guys is what made the machine popular in the first place. Because these were originally developed in Germany. Now, I like cabbage for my coleslaw, but they were making sauerkraut. Now, I don't know about you, but if you've ever bought it in a bag, you already know it's expensive and it loses flavor, right? So, what you can do, and you're gonna save about $10 with this one. Here, I tried the cabbage. You're gonna get two shredded bags out of one head. It cost you a dollar, so you save five bucks. You cut it in quarters. This one happened to be small, so I cut it in half. But if it's the size of your hand or larger, you put on that rubber band. Keep your fingers above the rubber band. If it's the size of your hand or smaller, you're going to use that safety handle, okay? And then this way, you don't hurt yourselves, you just keep it right above. You can run this through for taco nights, salads, tostadas, enchiladas, or of course your coleslaw. It's going to be light, fluffy, absolutely perfect. 
There is no machine that makes it like that without over processing it. Now, if you want to do romaine lettuce, red leaf or green leaf, you're going to bind it near the top because we know they're kind of bulky. Bind them at the top, shred it, and then as you go along, you roll up that rubber band and you keep shredding it. So you can do anything you want. You can even do bok choy. Um, I actually peel and slice pineapples with it, so it's really simple. Okay. So that's the machine and how it works. Does anybody have any questions on how to use the machine? No, it's pretty easy to use, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my job is just to teach you guys how to use this safely so you can go home and make salads or stir fry without hurting yourselves. Do you guys feel pretty confident you can go home without hurting yourselves? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay, good deal. All right, so since I did my job, go ahead and squeeze any of us. Does this all look familiar now? Restaurants, catered events, salad bars. For me, it was Subway. Because <laughs> you know they have to use it. Of course, it's really no, uh, it's no surprise. Chefs and caterers are using mandolins, but when they buy them, they go to special places like William Sonoma. They spend $175, upwards to $250. Uh, I just don't know of any professional mandolin what it can do that we didn't just do right here. 